So inside the fume hood, we've got a litre beaker and there's a dark solution in there. I'll put the light on temporarily just so you can see kind of a reddy brown colour there. And um, we've got inside um, the thermocouple reading about 25.5 degrees C. So there's a reason why that thermocouple is there and there's a reason why we're going to turn the light off. I will be adding to this solution 30 mils of concentrated hydrogen peroxide. So this is going to go in and we can watch what happens. Whoa. Oh, that's cool. Oh, that's so cool. Oh my God, that's so cool. The temperature is currently 94.3 and climbing. That was an extremely violent reaction. And now it's kind of gone, it's 96.3, still climbing, and it's gone yellow. So it started out as if nothing had happened. So we added the hydrogen peroxide in and it looked like um, there was a several second delay. And I honestly thought that the reaction had failed. Uh, but actually it's, it's, a, it's a delay on purpose. It's what's known as a clock reaction. It takes time for the reaction to, to actually happen. But when it did, it was extremely exothermic. So a lot of heat was produced. You saw the foam there. In addition to some foaming, uh, which then rapidly rose to the top of the, the beaker, um, there was actually chemiluminescence there as well. So to that solution was added a very small amount of luminol and that's what happened towards the end of the reaction was there was actually um, the traditional luminol that you would have seen in our previous videos and in the thunder and lightning lectures. Yeah, it's still cooling down now to about 80, but um, with gloves on, yeah, the glass is, is really, really hot. Strong reaction. Um, with a nice colour change, our acid, which was nice, clear colour or no colour, is now almost black. 